Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain. We have a very special treat for you tonight. Um, so we had a lot of success with the previous um, Blood Party video. A little bit of a uh, vampire um, party deck. And um, the deck was nice. It was fun. It was a little bit hokey. You know, the party mechanic is, I feel like, kind of like what magic is supposed to be about. Synergy, uh, difference, uh, fun stuff. But was it powerful enough? That's the question. Did it really put out that horsepower to really get things done? Did it get, did it absolutely just annihilate people? Well, yes and no, in the right circumstances. You know. It was a bit varied, and it wasn't all vampires. It was a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And I said to myself, I said, <clears throat> we got to do this one right, though. Because I love vampires. Vampire decks uh, were amazing. I've loved them since Innistrad, when we had red vampires and we had the madness mechanic. Very fun. One of my favorite mechanics. Um, we also had Drana and Malakir and all that good stuff back then, too. So I said, let's return to Malakir. Let's return to the full black, extra dark vampires. And if you're a fan of old 90s Al Rock, you'll know that, in fact, the world is a vampire. Leave a comment if you get that reference. I'm going to keep that one secret, and that's why this deck is called The World. If you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment. First one to do, so I'll pin it. So... What do we got? We have a mono black vampire deck featuring the all stars, the MVPs, the number ones. Blood Chief's Thirst. Very good card. Gets rid of stuff. And we have beautiful Drana there sucking blood out of people with her magic sword. We have Cling to Dust. Why do we have Cling to Dust? Why this kind of obscure Theros card in here? Well, two reasons. You gain life from it. It's one of the few black. Uh, cards. It's a one drop that lets you gain three life. And this is also, I had this in here to deal with Uro. Um, but Uro's gone now, so we don't need to worry too much about him anymore. But um, we gain three life or we draw a card and it has escape. So a little bit of card control and a little bit of life gain depending on the situation of what we want to do. Why do we want to gain life? Well, of course, you know, the all star is going to be here. Malakir Rebirth. Malakir makes vampires. It's their ancestral home. So we have that. It is going to be, uh, of course, as I say, a land first, and then when we need it, it is Malakir Rebirth. Luckily, we're out running mono black, so it's not like we're going to need too much variety. Expedition Skulker. I really liked her from the uh, Blood Party um, deck. So she's a two drop, two two, which is not great. But she has um, Death Touch, and we have another Rogue. And we do have other Rogues in this deck. So there's a good chance she's going to have Death Touch. And we also needed kind of a, 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 a two-drop. Um, so the chances of running into a Rogue are pretty good. We can probably get her with Death Touch. And if not, well, she's just a soldier in the Vampire Army. Null Priest of Oblivion. As I've said, that is a hell of a job title right there. She will bring people back to life using the dark powers of vampirism. Uh, Marauding Blight Priest, Vito's daughter. You know her. You love her. There she is. She's also uh, bringing in a bunch of crazy bugs, which apparently, like, vampires are real into bugs now, so I don't know what's up with that, but there you go. Mind Drain. I like this card. It's a little expensive, but it does a lot. I mean... That's a lot. It does four things for three mana. It gains, you, they have to discard two card, mill a card, lose a life, and we gain a life. That's a lot of stuff. So we got two of them there just to round things out. And I think that should be Drana on the on the card too. This really hurt is, um, this really is her deck. Nighthawk Scavenger. If, as I've said before, if he is just a 1-3 flying death touch and lifelink, he's worth it. But guess what? He's also equal to the number of cards in your opponent's graveyard. 
and uh, we do have a little bit of mill and we have a, plenty of destruction here so there's going to be a lot of different types of cards <clears throat> savage gorger you know him he's flying he is from the arena so he's not best of three if you want uh he's not best of three legal if you want to bring somebody else besides him into it go for it i just like him because we're going to be draining a lot of life as vampires do and um he's going to get pumped up he also has a pretty sweet looking coat uh, silver, Mer silver smoke ghoul. So um, this is an interesting. He is a zombie vampire. He is two things. You can sacrifice him to draw a card, and if you gain three life, you return him. We have lots of life link in this deck, so really, if we play cling to dust, we can uh, attack with him, block with him, play cling to dust, gain three life, and bring him right back to the battlefield. And he doesn't go back to your hand. He goes to the battlefield tapped. So. That's a hell of a card right there. We're going to be gaining life. And there he is. The master himself, Vito. Probably won me more games than any other card in Magic Arena currently. We got three of him because we know we need him. Um, there he is. Uh, if you want more, if you want less, add Vito to taste. Heraldric Banner. I love to play this in mono colored decks because it boosts everybody. And it's also giving you that extra kick of mana. It's a great turn three drop, which I love it on turn three. It means I can play one of these fine five cost things on turn four, like Drana, the last blood chief. There she is. You know her, you love her. She brings people back as vampires. Um, and she also just brings back our creatures. They're already all vampires, but they're gonna come back even more powerful thanks to her blood magic. And of course, Scion of the Swarm, he's a big boy. Whenever you gain life, he's gonna pump up. Is he worth the cost of him? Well, if you gain a lot of life, if you hit with Vito or somebody like that and everybody has lifelink, um, it is kind of going to be worth it. So um, you can add a little bit more lifelink to this deck if you feel like it. Um, I'll tell you a good one to uh, add is going to be, if you want to stick with the vampire theme, is Eternal Thirst. Uh, that's a good that's a fun one to add so if you want to take one one of these out add eternal thirsted maybe we'll tech it later also um aspect of the lamprey is not bad um and i think uh sudden fangs is really not a bad uh if you're going with the vampire deck uh feel here unexpected fangs sorry so you're figuring the vampires are just gonna pop those teeth out at the last minute and start draining blood um, so he's a good one to add to. He's a fun, he's a fun one. So this has a lot of variety, a lot of uh, things that you can do with it. Um, let's take a look overall how it looks on the big board. A lot of three drops, um, obviously all black, plenty of creatures, pretty balanced here. Um, and of course, we're mostly in the three drops. We have some good one drops, no one drop creatures, but a few two drop creatures around us out. We're a little bit more of a mid range deck, so we're gonna we're gonna have a little bit of trouble with um, some of the round, uh, some of the faster decks. But that that'll be okay. Hopefully, we can gain enough life from that. So I also want to say I add two radiant fountains just for that extra little bit of gaining life and 19 swamps so that's 21 we have three malachar rebirths which is 25 mana total potentially also don't forget that these lovely heraldic banners generate mana so um even though they're three drops they do so it is a potential of 27 mana generating cards in the deck so that should be plenty that should be more than enough to get it done so uh let's take a look at it in action now now of course as always before we get into the action, I will request that you please hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. Don't depend on YouTube to just recommend them to you because some days they just don't. All of a sudden my views just drop off because nobody knows that I put a new video out. The best way to keep up to date is to subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button for me. And of course, you will avoid the like and subscribe. Uh, he will not come chase you if you do that. Uh, additionally, come join us on our Twitch, twitch.tv slash thatvillainj, become a villain, join us, and uh, I'm also very proud to announce um, that we do have a Discord. If you want to hang out, chat, discuss decks, tell me your ideas, ask some questions about strategy, join the Discord. As always, all the links are in the description. Now, let's get it going.
Oop, I was playing the Annie Meta a little earlier, so let's play the world. So whoever figures out what I mean by the world, why this vampire deck is called the world, I mean, if you know it, it's going to jump right out at you. But um, if you don't, you need, to, you need to figure something else out, man. You need, to get a, you need to get on it. You need to know why the world is a vampire. <laughs> All right. Pretty good. <coughs> oh, I did forget to say that we do have Aghanim's Awakening. <coughs> These are our last ditch effort cards here. Um, if the game is dragging on, um, you can play them and you can just get a big sudden crypt breaking open. But it does function as a perfectly fine, um, as absolutely perfectly fine um, mana as well. So we're going to hold off on it until we need it. Alright, let's put out Radiant Found. I would have liked to save it for Marauding Blight Priest, but it doesn't look like we can. Looks like we're going to have to play Agadem's Awakening and then Heraldric Banner. I'll probably take the hit just so I can hit um, Marauding um, Blight Priest out immediately. Yeah, so we will... Um, and we will pay three life to do it uh, just so we can get Heraldric Banner out. And we're going to add to black. And... We are going to say uh, next, um, no attacks, and then we're going to put that out just so we can get, oh no, we can't play it, we already played a mana, okay, so yeah, so when we hit Malachar, maybe we draw Swamp, maybe we play Malachar Rebirth, this is obviously a, um, a land drop multi-mana deck here, so we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll take the two. It's not a big deal. Uh, my turn. So that is not it. We will put him down. Um, and we will put... We'll put Silver Smoke Ghoul down. Yeah, definitely. So we have a good blocker out now. Um, I don't see him playing too many land drop bangers yet. He might have got a bogue hand on that. Yeah, he got a bogue hand. So... Um, let us play Drana. Uh, it might get countered. It might get killed immediately. We don't know. So yeah, that is going to hit Roiling Regrowth right away. Um, to hit the landfall type situation that he needs. <clears throat> We're going to send Silver Smoke Ghoul in because he's probably going to come back to life pretty soon. Um, he, he's just going to take the hit. Uh, he needs multicolored and he is absolutely paid through the nose. What is you just ramping to Ugin maybe? Hopefully we can draw a um uh, yeah there's Blood Chief's Thirst. Okay, so I'm going to hold on to that because we might have to kill we might have to kill whatchamacallit. And so we're gonna send you and you in. Drana can't get anybody in just yet. There's Omnath. We're probably going to kill Omnath right away. Um, we don't have a rogue out for him yet, but we do have a kill card ready to go. Two Brazen Borrowers, Scoot Scorms, Roiling Regrowth, and Omnath. So this is obviously the four color Omnath. Um, so he's going to generate the mana. We weren't able to move too fast to get him down before he can get his thing going, but we do have a kill card in the clutch here. Um, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so I think if we just kill Omnath, we'll be all right. I think just playing that removal... And we're going to put a Silver Smoke Ghoul out. And we are going to hit the Crazy Go Nuts button here. And she is going to bring uh, Silver Smoke Ghoul back. Um, <clears throat> probably didn't need to attack with Expedition Skulker. Uh, oh, he's going to use him to kill Lotus Cobra. Pop. Okay. So, four color Omnath. Um... Let's see here. There's another Omnath, but he doesn't have too many cards in his hand, and he quit. 
So too much. Those vampires, too much for four color Omnath. Um, and that's a hell of a thing. Hey, I'm not complaining. So hey, is it? Can it beat four color Omnath? Yeah, it can. It can, guys. You just watched it. You having trouble with the four color Omnaths? Call the vampires, and they will deal with them. They will absolutely deal with an Omnath. You, 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 you let them vampires know where Omnath is. Amnath, Amnath, Omnath can't show his head around here. These are all the four colors that they're not. Okay, so Omnath pops his head out somewhere. The vampires is on it. They're gonna take his ass down. Tell him where he, Omnath tells you to be. Where you tell him where to be. That's what I say. Let's keep it going, guys. That's what I call a linchpin deck. Omnath is a linchpin deck. Uh, if you don't have Omnath, the deck doesn't work. So it, he's your linchpin. Taking him out, just I, I top deck that Blood Chief's Thirst. Um, just killing him is, you know, he played all of his mana, he didn't have anything else, he had his Lotus Cobra, he had his Scoots all ready to go, he had everything, all all of his cards neatly lined up and, and, and ready to go, and he got killed. Um, so he put him down and he got, he got killed. There's not much you can say about that. slow here we didn't get any of our two drops we don't have any one drop vampires vampires are always generally a little bit more expensive so I'm not too worried about them um, not getting it so we have two Dranas here which is fine in case one gets killed. Um, but I want the Marauding Blight Priest out next because when he hits for the one life, he'll lose the one life in addition. We have a kill card ready to go. Um, I'm going to hold off on the Dranas. This is a white-black. We have artifacts. I'm guessing it's a white-black life gain. Um, but he's going very slow right now, which is to our advantage because we're not a fast deck. Yeah, I figured it was a blue, uh, blue, I'm not blue, black, white, black life gain. Um, that was my, that was my supposition here. Um, or do I want Savage Gorger out? Hmm. Let me do him next time. Heartless Act, he killed him. Uh, don't worry too much for him because Drana will bring him back, so uh, don't worry about that. Drana will bring everybody back. On a festival of blood and violence and darkness as Malakir rises from the desolate swamps. Okay, I gotta turn the Edgelord down a little bit. Let me get that Edgelord button. Where is it? No, that's not it. That's all that's over here. Let me click this Edgelord switch. Alright, there we go. Edgelord, this is down. Excellent. He's going to kill. Um, he took some damage. So he's just playing removal. I, obviously, he doesn't have... He doesn't have the cards right now. End turn. He lost life, so it's going to give me a counter. Um, unfortunately with him, you can only rain one counter a turn. So he is really, really just building up here. We have a Blood Chief's Thirst ready to go. So if he brings his big boy or whatever he wants out, we can pop him. Um, my turn. Okay. We have an extra Drana, so we might, we might as well just do this. I would have liked the Marauding Blight Priest, but 
um, we can wait and do that. We can do him and then cling to dust and then gain the life, hopefully, if he put, ever puts a creature out. So let's uh, have Savage Gorger in his sweet looking coat. Okay, there's Indulging Patrician. Um, got a spear. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and kill him. Her, I mean. As much as I love Indulging Patrician, she's got to go. We are going to, should we cling it to dust? No, we're gonna wait. We're gonna hold that cling to dust and we're gonna bring back the Nighthawk. So, yeah, Nighthawk Scavenger is actually, I think, a um, kind of a rebranding of the uh, Vampire Nighthawk, which is the one I used to play. Um, and also, he is going to lose the game. There we go. Um, I used to play him a lot because he's really good. He's very similar, so they just kind of redid him. So we're on a roll here, guys. Um, yeah. Oh, these vampires are not letting up. Let's see if we can take them farther. Yeah, the old va the Zendikar, the old Zendikar set uh, had a vampire Nighthawk, and this is the Nighthawk Scavenger. So obviously, it's something to do with Zendikar and the, the Malakir. Um, but yeah, it was very similar. It was a Death Touch, Life Link, and Flying. Obviously, they modified him a little bit. Weird hand, but I'm going to try it. Um, we've won two in a row, so I don't mind losing one. Uh, of course, obviously, ooh, he, he has Garuda. Um, I don't want to lose, obviously, but, you know, let's get Aghanim's Awakening out. Uh, let her tap. Mind Drain. So, black, green... Black, green, blue. Alright. Go organize this. We can get Vito. I don't know. I'll get Heraldric Banner out. Because he's going slow too, so. Binding of the Titans. Each player mills three cards. Ooh! Three, uh, three whatchamacallits in a row. Cards from Graveyard. Return a creature from the Graveyard to your hand. Okay, so. Do that. Um, get Heraldic Banner out. Black. Okay. And turn. So we can do Veto and Cling to Dust and get rid of Giruda. Um, and we'll gain three life and he'll lose three life. So I think that that is the best bet. Um, so you can add Giruda to his hand probably because he's mousing over it. Nope, gem razor. Mutate, reach, and trample. There it is. My turn. Uh, so we'll bring him out. Bring Vito out. And then cling to dust. And we will get rid of Garuda. We'll gain the life. He will lose the life. And then I think we're going to do it again. You know? Well. Yeah, let's do it again. Mind Drain. Um, so he has nothing in his graveyard, so we kind of got rid of the Binding of the Titan.
Okay, he's gonna mutate, so he can destroy an artifact, I believe. He's gonna take that artifact out. That's fine. Um, I think we're just gonna eliminate him. Uh, no blocks. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of you. We don't need you doing crazy stuff anymore. That's, that's unnecessary. We don't need you doing it. Okay, we're gonna mill some cards. Here we go. Okay, some mana. There's three mana in a row. He threw out Kongla. Um, we're also gonna be able to cling to dust again, which is, I don't know why he doesn't understand that. Um, so, because he wants to bring back one of these, and we're just, we wanna exile Kongla. We don't, we don't need, we don't need him bringing that out. His return from the graveyard to your hand, so we just, we just really don't need him doing that. Um, let's get rid of Kongla. Get rid of Swamp, Swamp, Swamp. Five other cards, okay, that. And Roderick Banner. And we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Escaped it. We gained that life, hit him for that, hit him for that, pop. And there we go. We can Mind Drain him next. Garrick. There's Garrick. He might just destroy me. Yeah, he's just gonna destroy me. Um, so we're gonna put out a Radiant Fountain, so we will put out Savage Gorger. And then Radiant Fountain. And then Cyan of the Swarm. Dire Bat. He's gonna mutate him and destroy that. <laughs> yeah. If he can keep mutating Dire Bat, it's bad news. It is bad news. It is bad news. Let's see if he can mutate him again, because he'll just one Dire Bat is kind of broken. Yep, he can just keep doing it. Yep, that's bad news. Well, we gotta get rid of that dire bat. Uh, we have plenty of Blood Chief's thirst left, um, but he is he is going now. He is headed. He's he's going full bore. So let's make him get rid of that stuff. You know, you don't need that stuff in your hand anymore. Okay. Uh, next turn, we're gonna end turn. Um, hopefully he doesn't play something and we can make him get rid of something else, but I think he's just gonna annihilate us with the amount of creatures that he has. Forever Young, he puts him on top. Okay, is he gonna play that card? Yeah, he's gonna play get rid of Doom of the Depths. Um, so, milled even more cards, um, and I think he's gonna hit me for 8, 9, 12... So let's try to keep ourselves alive, get rid of Boneyard Lurker, and we will exile a bunch of stuff here. Uh, 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 Savage Gorger, and a Marauding Blight Breeze. I'll try to do that. But. Obviously, we're in bad shape. We do not have a board wipe, so I think that's going to be lights out for us here. It really doesn't matter what... Well, we have Veto. <laughs> Made it a good fight, boys. Made it a good fight. Um, but... Uh, 
we could not get the uh, extra removal that we needed. D Dire Bat, I think that is probably, it, it's it's the broken card that people don't talk about. Oh, but it costs six to mutate it on on somebody. Well, it only costs four to put it out, and then you can just get cheap-ass mutates and keep mutating on top of it, on top of it, on top of it, on top of it. And you get like a um, absolute spiral of mutation going that just terminates everybody in the party um not the party um thinking D, D here it terminates everybody on the board so very op card um theoretically if you wanted to put it in this deck it is vampire themed vampire bats bats vampires um you wouldn't be you wouldn't be that out of pocket for doing it i'll say that all right so swamp So yeah, we're just gonna put down Null Priest of Oblivion. Um, sorry, I'm adjusting my mic. Uh, can't get her kicked right yet. Uh, no blocks. We'll gain the life back. It's not a big deal. We'll put out Scavenger. I know I should probably should have put her out Herald with Banner, but I want that Scavenger out just because I want to be generating life. Um, I didn't really need the extra mana because I have an extra mana in my hand. So, uh, it's not really necessary to have that. Um, oh, this is a, what is this, a spider tribal? Very cool, very cool. Okay, so Vito is going to come out because, um, I want him to lose that life. Yeah, so they can catch me, but they can't kill me. Um, and I think I'm going to use Malkyrie Rebirth on Null Priest of Oblivion. So we're going to go in with all the boys. Got a veto heavy hand here. So he's going to do that. We're going to kill him. We're going to play Malkyrie Rebirth. We're going to pay two life. Doesn't really matter. We have plenty of life. Kill that guy. Boom, boom. We gain. And then we're going to make him suffer. Oop. Oh, see? Just that quick. Um, we're going to put down Heraldric Banner, and we're just going to do the dirty feed again. I think we might be too quick for these vampires. I mean, these spiders. Yeah, we're too quick for these spiders. Too quick for these spiders. Black. Um, next... Yeah. Too quick for those spiders. Absolutely too fast. Um, so yeah, that's one of the combos you can come up with um, with this deck. Uh, if you want to focus on that combo, you just want to load up on those, go for it. Um, I know a lot of people ask, why don't you ever just play 4 and 4 and 4 and 4 and 4 if it's so good? Well, not everybody has the wild cards to just uh, go nuts like that. Um, ooh, a Griffinary. Um, I think I have max of those. So I kind of try to show a variety. I kind of try to showcase. Call it showcasing, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that's kind of the idea. All right, let's see here. So we are three up, one down. Um, ooh, heavy on Malakir Rebirth, but we do have the mana we need. We're a little bit slow, but we can do it. Let's see if we can draw into anything. So, I think we're going to pop him. Let's try an early pop instead of saving it. Let's just try to slow him down. Put another one out. Okay. So, let's put out a Malachi Rebirth. We can put that there. And uh, next, we can put out Civil Smoke Ghoul. That's a shame. I kind of wanted to see where that spider tribal was going. It'd be a fun deck to look at, maybe play one day. So this is obviously a landfall. I don't know if it's... 
I don't know if it's um if it's an Omnath. We're we're headed to that way with Omnath colors, but we'll see. It's obviously a man. Well, yeah, it is an Omnath. This is another Omnath. I don't know if we're gonna be as lucky again. It's a Scoot. Scoot probably Omnath. That's where we're settling right now. So he's gonna make his Scoot. Um, all right. So let's put that out. Put that out. Um, we're gonna hold on to that for the Omnath. I'd like to kill that Scoot, but uh, and I'm gonna attack with the Ghoul. Just cause. Uh, he's gonna come back to life anyway, so. And we'll save the Malachi Rebirth in case he gets some sort of removal on him. So he's gonna create a food token, he's gonna put that down, play Omnath. And I think we can linchpin out Omnath, we can pull that Keystone out. Oh, he didn't play the white yet, he's gonna scoot another scoot. Vicious Sterix, okay. So yeah, that's who we're gonna kill. So we put out a Karyatid. Um, all right, my turn. I'm gonna put that out. We're gonna say, yeah, we don't need you auspicious Sterixing everything to death here. Goodbye. Um, and then we're gonna attack with him. We're gonna gain life, you're gonna lose life. And we're gonna bring Silver Smoke Ghoul right back. So, there's another, another one of those. Um, I'm gonna play Sign of the Swarm next, because he's gonna be a 4-4 once I'm done with him. He hasn't played the man yet, so he doesn't have the... He doesn't have the Omnath yet. Okay. Uh, let's do Sign of the Swarm right now. Um, let's do it. <clears throat> He's gonna create a food token. Sacrifice food token. Alright, and just keep sacrifices. He's gonna keep gaining life. It's fine. He's gonna gain more. We have more flyers going in. Uh, Silver Smoke Lou comes back. Okay, so I. Th mm, well, if we draw mana, we can play Silver Smoke Ghoul and Savage Gorger. Um, there's Great Horn. He's gonna get a mana. But I think he lost his primary scoop. No, he still has his primary scoop. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So we can see that. Um. All right. Well. Blood priest. Definitely blood priest. Blood priest. Savage gorger. Next. And we will go in with that and that. So it'd be nice to get a little bit more removal here, obviously. Um, would be nice to get a little bit more removal. That great horn thing, I think that's a little bit broken in my opinion, but hey, that's me. I mean, if it comes, if it makes scoots, it shouldn't make copies of the thing that it is. See, that's a little bit ridiculous. So I'm not worried about the one ones. Um, pass. Uh, we will take out block one of these, and we'll take the three. Uh, 
this is when board wipes come in handy. That's uh, for white. Um, okay, so we will put out a... Well, we're going to gain a Silver Smoke back. We'll put out another Marauding Bar Priest. And then we will go in with everybody again. I think it's a bit of a futile effort here, but let's see how it plays out. survive this one um, let's see I'll block that let's see what I have no I'm just gonna get crushed heroic intervention they're all indestructible well let's play Malachi rebirth on her then yeah um, it's pretty nuts that it gets to be a copy of whatever it mutated. I mean, that, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. It's, it's Scoot, so you're telling me that it would all be Dirge Bats if you mutated on top of him? I don't know about all that. That seems a little bit ridiculous. Um, but hey, I'm not a designer. I've only been playing this for 25 years. What would I know? Clearly they know what they're doing. They made Omnath, and that's great, and leads to a very healthy, normal meta. So, um, clearly they know what they're doing up there at Wizards. Not a lot of mana, but we do have an Excadish. Uh, well, alright, we'll do it. Ooh, 208 cards and custom backs. This is going to be one crazy-ass deck. Alright, so let's get um, Null Priest of Oblivion out. Um, let's get Skulker out. I'm not drawing mana, that's a bad sign. 37% chance to draw mana. We really needed it right there. Uh, there's Boot Nipper. There's Soul Mender. So just a black white life gain. Really could have used that mana. Um, gotta put him out. Uh, let's do it. Let's just put the pressure on him. We can knock them both out if he blocks with him, or we can just trade. That's fine. Um, Gotta get that mana. Absolutely. 25 potential mana cards in this deck. Uh, we're just not drawing it. So he's gonna put Eternal Suffering. So we have to sacrifice a creature. We're gonna sacrifice the guy with Eternal Suffering on him. Why would we not do that? We get to draw a card. Um, we will cling to Dust. Him. And gain that life. And... Uh, pop okay uh, really could use a mana here RNG that night night hop scavenger looks great okay he's just gonna murder him and then I'm gonna draw locust swarm guy oh, yep oh blood the chief thirst and we're just gonna have to cling to dust again uh, to draw a card so let's get rid of an animal end so we draw a card what is the card? The card is a mana. We get to play the mana. Uh, okay, now we're in a better shape. Clean the dust is very useful. It's either life or a card draw. So, um, Hagara Constrictor, very good. Silver Smoke Ghoul. Yeah, this is just a standard, um, just your standard 200 card type thing. Just your standard 208 card um, life gain. You know, 
you get you get it mm, nope no no blocks I have plenty of life so I'm not really worried about that so he sacrificed him that's a good combo I've, I know it, I've known it before uh, I'm running blight priest and her out so that way we can do this, hit him, and he's gonna lose a life. Boom, okay. Um, Clackbridge Troll, okay, we're gonna have sacrifices there. So we'll hold off until we can Blood Chief's Thirst him. It's a good combo, because I have to sacrifice him to do that, and he's gonna gain life, and then he's gonna make an air, a griffin. Um, so, good combo, good combo. So let us put out another scavenger here. Um, and let us go in with that. So they both die. Lose that. Revenge of the Ravens. Yeah, this is a good. This is a good deck. This is a solid deck. Uh, just your standard black-white life game. I don't know why he needs 208 cards, but uh, there you have it. He just put everything in there. Um, so why not? You know, he gets the Griffin. Uh, we actually need that Malachi Rebirth. We need it for a mana. As much as I, I'd love to use it for something else. Um, Let's put that there. Let's put her out. Let's send him in. Revenge of Ravens. Uh, I don't know if he has another Righteousness. I doubt it. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do that. He's going to lose two life. So we're kind of competing against each other here with life loss. Um, Got to get rid of that Clatch Bridge Troll. I'd love to play something else. He might have some removal on that. Rune Halo, he's going to do Nighthawk Scavenger probably, it doesn't matter, I only have three of them in there. Um, he's better off doing Veto, because I don't think he knows I have him. Yeah, I'm not really giving you a lot of hints there, guy. Marauding Night Priest. Sacrifice him. Okay, he's going to gain the life. He'll make a griffin. Wonderful. The griffin will go in. Savage Gorger. Interesting. Interesting. Does a lot of stuff there. Okay. So, oh yeah, Marauding Blight Priest is what he wanted the, um, the protection from. So now we're going to play our Triumph de Resistance. Get rid of that Clackbridge Troll. He'll gain a life. Nothing we can do about that. Um, and we're going to go in with everybody. Why the hell not? So a good way to get rid of stuff is, um, oh god, what is the name of that card? Blood Sacrifice. There's a black card, it costs two, and you can get rid of any permanent as long as you take life damage equal to the permanent's casting cost. Sacrifice creature, we'll sacrifice him. Okay. Instant, creature, instant. Alright, so what do we need? We need Drana out. We need, we need a mana. We need a mana for that Drana. We need a mana for that Drana. Hopefully he doesn't have any removal immediately available. Um, 
he'll do one damage. Okay, he'll draw a card. Uh, we'll do that. Take the damage. We're gonna gain the life back. Pop. All right, so we're in a little bit better spot as long as he doesn't have removal. Um, he's gonna gain the four four. gonna go in uh, right so who do we need to block here block him with him he probably has a pump up so let's see what happens probably gonna lose him yeah unlikely aid um, knew that was probably gonna happen but we're already in terrible shape here uh, we just did not get the mana early on it took us to get five mana which is why we really need a run here um, it took us way too long, and I just misplayed that. It should have been Rotting Blight Priest first, and then that. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We're dead anyways. So he just took every single card in the entire deck that uh, does life damage and just put it in the... It's, it's the craziest combo I've ever seen in my life. Um, it would probably do well with an editor, uh, somebody to really shave off some of the edges here. Um, but hey, it worked on me, uh, mostly because I got mana screwed. I got really mana screwed before he got his engine running, um, so he's just going to kill me. Alright, so I think that uh, was three up and two down. Um, not bad. Not a bad, fun little deck to play there. Um, most people only watch the first game anyway, so I won the first game, so that'll work for me um yeah so that's it for me for this one um i hope you liked it leave a comment um hit that like button why not sub it's easy cost nothing you know just do it uh join our discord if you want to chat and uh visit me on twitch i had a fun time tonight i love these vampires um they're very fun to do um let me just, before I go, for the people really curious of what that one was, that card is, let's just look up Destroy. Um, and it's black. It is called... Oh, man, what is it called? What is it called? It is called... Feed the Swarm. Destroy target uh, creature and enchantment. So you can get rid of enchantments. It's a very rare thing that you can do with black, but it costs you life. Doesn't really matter if you're playing a heavy life gain deck, but there it is. Uh, feed the swarm. Hey, you get to go on the sideboard. Beep. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's it for me tonight. Love you guys. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.